Hi there. I'd like to show you some improvements we've just released to Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. It's almost two years since we launched Enterprise Edition, and in that time we've been working hard to build the product. In today's update, we have some nice UI improvements and an awesome new single sign-on feature. Let's take a look. The first thing you'll notice is that there's a nice new header. This makes it faster to navigate. You can get straight to filtered views for sites, scans and teams, and straight to key functions like creating a new site or a new scan. Within the Sites menu, there's a new Sites with Issues filter. This takes you straight to the Sites page with that filter applied, so you can quickly find where your vulnerabilities are. There's a new Settings menu where all of the usual settings live, and there's a new User menu where you can configure your own account. The page for creating a new site has been redesigned with a nicer UI. You now only need to provide a single URL for each site because but it will scan everything beneath that URL by default. You can still expose the old settings where you can provide multiple URLs for a site if you need to. There's a new protocol settings option where you can configure whether to scan both HTTP and HTTPS or just the protocols you've provided. And there's a new way to make it easier to provide multiple logins and multiple email recipients to add or remove these. The page to create a new scan has had a similar overhaul and other pages will get this same new look soon. The big new feature is single sign-on via LDAP. This lets you use an LDAP service like Active Directory to configure the user accounts which will be used to log into Enterprise. So a user just comes in with their normal domain credentials, they can log into Enterprise Edition and gain access. To set this up, you need to configure the LDAP server that Enterprise Edition should use for authentication, and you need to create in Burp Suite Enterprise Edition groups corresponding to the groups you have in Active Directory that will define user permissions. If you set these groups up with the same name, then when a user logs into Enterprise Edition, they will authenticate against Active Directory and they will pick up the permissions that they have in virtue of being in those groups. So it's all really simple. We have a really exciting roadmap for Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. In the next few months, we'll be integrating with other systems for single sign-on, as well as bug tracking systems. We'll be doing API scanning. This means that Burp Scanner will process and understand API definitions and be able to audit the defined endpoints. We'll have recorded logins. This means if your application uses a complex login sequence, not just a username and password, you'll be able to record that sequence using your browser and load it into Enterprise Edition to use during scans. And for the first time in Enterprise Edition, we'll support Burp Suite extensions. You'll be able to load these from the BAP Store or your own custom extensions, just like you can in Burp Suite Pro. Anyway, we really hope you enjoyed today's release. And as always, do let us have any feedback. Thank you.